where does your child learn to draw good diagrams of course not from the textbook welcome to random youtube celebrity presents the cross section of leaf this diagram is from the chapter life processes we highly recommend the viewers to not practice this diagram from the textbook on a scale of difficulty 1 to 10 this diagram is around a 5 if you know the tricks so let's get started step 1 draw three bread loaves and on the top and bottom draw two curved lines this makes the upper epidermis of the leaf inside each epidermal cell make a large box and an oval the box and the oval are the vacuoles and the nucleus of the epidermal cells respectively wow and all this while i thought you were busy watching sitcoms but damn your biology is too good huh. for step 2 we draw a thicker curved line on top of a bread loaves this is the waxy layer called the cuticle mind you even if it is called the cuticle this diagram is just not cute for step 3 we draw the lower epidermis for the lower epidermis we lather rinse and repeat the same process used for the upper one with the only difference being that we leave some space between loaves 1 and loaves 2 in the space we draw two random pebbles now make boxes and circles inside the epidermal cells and cover the low epidermis like you did by making the waxy cuticle. Now for step 4, we fill the space between the two epidermal layers by drawing a number of nicely spaced rectangular boxes attached to the upper epidermis and then draw rectangular boxes inside those rectangular boxes. But remember that you don't have to fill the space completely. Diagram abhi baki hai mere dost. Oh, these rectangular boxes are known as the palisade cells. Hopefully you don't have to remember the name. But do remember to leave some spaces in between the cells. How many times are you going to say that? Anyway, now for step 5, just below the palisade cells, draw a number of irregular circles with circular vacuoles inside them. These are known as mesophyll cells and yes, you have to remember this name this time. Leave spaces between the cells like you did before. Now labeling. The waxy cuticle, upper epidermis, lower epidermis, air spaces. Yeah, that's why we're supposed to leave empty spaces all around the middle layer, the guard cells and the mesophyll. Thank you guys for watching our video. Oh wait, wait, wait. Here's the last one for the day. How do the trees go on the internet? I don't know how. They log in. Oh. Uh. Ouch.